Hello, hello, hello everybody. I am going to be showing you my January empties. I do not have that many things. Um, I'm kind of surprised that I didn't go through that much stuff, but you know, it is what it is. So my totals are not that great this month. So I'm going to start off with like the beauty, skincare, and hair care stuff. I did not, I think I had like two makeup things and then the third thing I'm getting rid of because it's so old but the first thing I have is one of my favorite things it's the Freeman polishing charcoal mask this here works so well before I went on my no buy I actually bought two of them because they were on sale and I think I had a coupon too in gift cards so I was able to pick up two more of these so I would have them throughout the year I have an Origins Checks and Balances face wash. This is okay. I do really like the scent of this though, more so than the cleanser I'm using now. Two of the makeup things. This one here I had to pour into something else, so technically it's not finished yet, but once it is finished, I'm not going to show you the empty container. So it's the Bare Mineral Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. This is in the color Fawn, which is 02, which is a little bit darker, so I had to put a lot of white pigment into it so I would be able to use it. I have a Clinique High Impact Mascara. This was alright. I think this is like my second or third sample of this mascara here. Um, I did, it probably still had some life left in it, but I opened it in the very beginning of December. So it's been two months, so I just wanted to get rid of it. I have a Skin Iceland eye, pat, eye mask. This is alright. Like I've said before, I'd probably put this in the fridge before I put it on my eyes. But I just always forget to do that before I use them. I have some Neutrogena Makeup Removing Wipes. My favorite thing now is the Ulta ones over these. So I'll... Instead of purchasing those, I'll get the Ulta ones instead because the Ulta brand always has such better deals. I think um, in December I bought four packs because they were buy two, get two free. So I definitely recommend that. I think they're $6 each, which is a smidge bit cheaper than this. But you can use any coupons and stuff on the Ulta brand too. This took me forever. It's just a Veen. Uh, like a thermal spring water spray for your face uh, it was okay but because it's in like a um, what do you call this like a metal can I smelled metal on my face so I, this is not something I would personally purchase I fit there are a couple things here for from project pan so it's gonna be a spoil alert I have the Neutrogena makeup removing uh, eye remover this I only had the littlest bit left but I'm so glad to get rid of this um, another project pan item this one is the Paracone MD Blue Plasma Cleansing Treatment I still have a full size of this but this little baby when I calculated how much it cost this little thing for 2 ounces is like $22.50 that's insane this is pretty pricey for that I have a Purity Made Simple by Philosophy, just a micellar water. This was okay. This I was not the biggest fan of. It's the Love and Beauty Planet Argan Oil and Lavender Shampoo. I just wasn't a fan of it. And for samples, I still just don't understand why they put something in such a hard container that you cannot squeeze out. I've had quite a few samples like that and I just I don't understand it. I have a dry bar volumizing mousse, the Southern Belle. This is good. I did like this um, because I've been lazy and not blow drying my hair. So I like to use this when I get out of the shower on my damp hair and it gives me just like a nice kind of wave to my hair. This Hask dry shampoo um, no, 
it was okay, but I still like Batiste so much better, so I would not repurchase this. The item I am getting rid of, I've probably had for several years, and um, it's just like one of those loose eyeshadow stacks by Bella Tierra, and um, yeah, I've, I've just had it for so long, and I've probably only used it a handful of times, so I need to get rid of it. I have a couple lotions, two of them I used at work, and one of them I used here. This is another spoiler because it's in a project pan, but it's a sweet cinnamon, pump, cinnamon pumpkin lotion from Bath & Body Works. This was good. It was going bad, so I needed to hurry up and use it. If I had used it when it was like at its peak, I'm sure it probably would have smelled better, but it was still good even though it was kind of turning a little bit. I have the Body Shot, the Coconut um, Body Butter. This I just used for my hands and my feet, and I did like this, completely cleaned it out. Um, did I have this? No, I didn't have this one at work. I had something else at work. This is what I had at work. It's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Touch Hand Cream. This here, I love the smell, but when I opened it up, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that orange color. I just felt like it kind of turned on me. I'm not sure if you've used this. Let me know if it's supposed to look that color. Um, but it was brand new. It has a two year XB on it, but this little baby for 50 ml is $14. So for a hand cream, I will not, I won't spend that price again for it. Even though I got so many compliments when I put this on my hands, um, I just won't spend $14 for a hand cream again. I have two hand soaps. One is from Bath & Body Works. It's a Spiced Gingerbread Swirl. It was okay. Um, nothing too fantastic. It's warm gingerbread, brown sugar, and grated cinnamon. This next one is my first ever Scentsy hand soap that I've used. It was Farm Stand Pumpkin. It was alright, but the pump kind of like started malfunctioning towards like a little less than the halfway mark so I would not personally buy I still I think I have one hand soap to get through but I wouldn't buy their hand soap again and if I did I would pour it into a different container just to keep on the Scentsy train I have two wax melts this is snow place like home I loved this scent um, they are discontinuing their winter scents I think at the end of this month so I'm mini I'm coming for you and I'm probably gonna get a couple bars even though I shouldn't and then the other one was gingerbread donut this was okay but I don't think I'd get this one again then I have two candles from Bath and Body Works this one was a Christmas gift this year from a co-worker it's the cinnamon spiced vanilla it was good but it didn't have that great of a scent throw so this is my first like small candle from them so I'm not sure if it's just the size or not but I love this jar and then the last one, it's like a Halloween candle from either last year or the year before. I just love the lid. That's so pretty. Um, this one is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. Wickedly Sweet Caramel Creepy Cloves and Dark Sugar Crystals. I did like it, but um, I didn't put it on my melter, but you can kind of see how the wicks started to turn the wax. So it started to be just a little bit smoky towards the end, so that's why I still have so much wax left. But this was, you know, it was pretty good. And then the last thing I have, it's the, of course, <laughs> a tree hut. This one, uh, body scrub, this one is Tahitian Vanilla Bean. I always will repurchase this brand for body scrubs. It is amazing. So my totals for this month, which again, weren't so great. I did have a lot of sample size things, so that's really going to kill, probably kill me this year because I have a lot of sample things that I want to get through. And with my no buy, I'm going to be using them, so I'm not sure I'm going to meet the goal that I set for myself. I think I put maybe $3,000 to finish, but that includes like makeup, skincare, and hair care. 
it doesn't include like my home empties or like my trash stuff so I'm I'm a little bit skeptical <laughs> if I'm gonna make it or not but my makeup skincare and hair care for this month was ninety dollars and eighty uh, twenty nine cents my home was seventy four ninety nine and then my donate slash trash is fifty dollars so my final monthly total for January was two hundred and fifteen dollars and twenty eight cents so not that fantastic in numbers but I am glad that I got like several small things out that have kind of just been lingering around for a while and we'll just see how the next month goes but let me know how you guys are doing and what you've been using up have a great day